Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today in Legends Rewritten, I'm going to be going over which magics are the best to obtain when you first start out the game, and all of these can be obtained without killing a single enemy, which is why I'm calling them the best starting magics. So the overall best starting magic in the game is of course the magic type light. So the way you get this magic artifact is by going to the heights, follow this path I'm showing on screen. It is a little bit of a hike, but it is absolutely worth it, and make sure it is the first day of summer. If it is not the first day of summer, then the light artifact will not be spawned in so do make sure you only go on the first day of summer now this magic artifact not only has great moves it has one of the best dashes in the game is very very quick very very spammable but it also has some very low level very good magic moves for example light beam shards blast kick and its spec shrine of heaven are all good moves at level 1 and 10 you get the beam and then also the projectile attack and both of these attacks as you guys can see on screen can be used to just spam farm the golem boss from a range and just get a lot a lot of magic xp really really quickly out of this so light magic is definitely something all you guys should be getting right when you start out this game because it's just so easy to obtain. So the second magic that we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be the magic known as flame. So the flame artifact is also very, very easy to obtain. So what you must do once you are in the heights is make your way over to this ledge and you must make sure it is the very first day of fall. If it is the first day of fall and you make your way over to this ledge, then you will find the flame artifact. Now the flame artifact does have a decent dash as you guys can see here is like a worse version of the light dash because you can't quite stay in it forever. So what's so good about this magic type is this level 10 flame explosion and level 20 fire spin and the fireball at level 30 are all fantastic attacks. Its first move at level one isn't the best, but if you get flame magic, you should try to get the light magic first simply because summer comes before fall. So you can get both of them within quick succession of each other. But overall, flame magic, great DPS, and very, very good thing to get early in the game. Now, the next magic we're going to talk about is the magic known as ice. Now, ice magic is definitely not as good as the first two mentioned, but it's very easy to obtain, so I thought I'd mention it anyways. The way you obtain ice magic is you first must come to the heights. Once you're at the heights, you must make sure it is the very first day of winter, and you want to make sure it is the first snowfall. If it's not the first snowfall, the ice artifact will not spawn in, and it will spawn in behind this waterfall right where my character is standing. And as you guys can see, it has a very interesting dash. If you hold down Q, you can kind and just walk in the air and it is pretty useful to get around the map very very quickly but the reason why we're talking about this magic artifact in this video is because it has some very decent early game moves for example frostbite at level 15 and ice quake at level 30 are fantastic dps moves they both stun your enemy and they both just do a lot of damage overall at least for an artifact that you don't even need to kill anybody to get and then also its ice shards its level one move is completely spammable as you guys can see and it also stun locks enemies so ice magic overall is a very very good one to go after early in the game so now i kind of want to talk about the water magic artifact so the way you get this magic is the exact same as ice magic however you go behind a waterfall on the first day of spring instead and it should be spawned in there so the reason why we're talking about water magic is one it has a very solid dash overall just like flame very similar and also it has some very very good moves water pulse at level one is super spammable water pillars at level eight is great surf is also pretty solid i've had some glitches with it lately but i'm sure it'll be fixed water strike at level 30 is also good and water shower is also good at level 45. So the reason why this magic's so good is a lot of its magic moves are very, very low level. So you can just use most, if not all, the attacks very, very quickly after getting it. And this is going to be very, very useful because you guys can use water magic to quickly level up all of your skills. And obviously it has a level 70 spec as well, which is pretty low level for a spec. So water magic is definitely one of the better ones out there. It's definitely not as good as light. I'd say it's about as good as flame, maybe a little bit better even. So definitely go for this artifact. Now the very last magic we're gonna talk about in this video is the magic type known as lightning, which I have covered so much lately. So we're only gonna briefly talk about it. The way you obtain it is by coming to the highest point in world one in the heights, this mountain here. It must be the first day of spring and a thunderstorm must be going on actively. If all the conditions are met, then it will be spawned in on top of this mountain. So the magic type lightning out of all the ones we mentioned so far is definitely gonna be the worst for just starting out. The reason why I say that is because the moves that are good in it is gonna be lightning blast and lightning strike, which is level 32 and 46. Those are both very, very useful. It's level one and 14 not so much but its dash is also pretty solid overall 
I thought I would include it in this video at the end simply because you don't have to kill anybody to farm it and it still has some pretty decent damage overall but again I kind of would recommend getting flame light or ice over lightning first just due to the fact that most of the moves that you're going to be using in it aren't very low level. Anyways guys thank you very much for watching this video I hope you guys all found it helpful when figuring out what magic artifacts you want to go for when first starting out this game. Leave a like if this video helped you out, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!